bronze buckos bounties yo bucko it's zero come back to you with another figure of you see we have the stars black series the clone wars obi-wan kenobi hell yeah so i also have general kenobi here or clone commander kenobi i should say to compare off to him uh because i honestly think it's really necessary for most people who were complaining about that not getting re-released i don't know it was a whole like i saw a lot of things like oh i want that re-release oh i don't want that or, or whatever but um i want to go off the bat and say right now that i actually did have this original figure back in what was it 2008 or whenever the clone wars was re released and this figure in the three and three quarter scale actually did come with the helmet and a jetpack so in a way, I'm really happy to have him because he's super nostalgic and I used it, you know, used him to play with my clones. But also, man, I wish I had those freaking the helmet and the jetpack. That would be freaking sick. But you never see that in the show, so I can't really fault them. It was just a stupid play feature that I thought was freaking awesome. But anyways, Obi-Wan Kenobi, let's go ahead and check out the package. This is where the fun begins. So we got, we got your Star Wars. The Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, 50th Lucasfilm. You got your very hideous <laughs> Obi-Wan portrait right here. I always hated that thing. It looks weird to me. I don't know. But <laughs> in the package, he looks beautiful. Absolutely awesome. I actually think he looks a lot better in person than I thought he would. So that's cool back of the packaging 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm Obi-Wan Kenobi commemorate the first 50 years of Lucasfilm you know blah 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 you've heard it a million times right now all right and I already think I already see some things I like about this figure so let's just go ahead and crack this bad boy open all right guys and here he is out of the packaging and oh my gosh I can already tell you that the colors on this one are so much better than the clone commander Obi-Wan I'm going to be comparing them to a bit during this review because I'm going to be honest with you, they are kind of just different renditions of the Clone Wars, you know, they're just, they're just the same renditions of the Clone Wars done by technically two different artists, so it's good to show off which is which, but I'm already seeing some interesting things here, and that's actually starting to explain the Anakin a little more why he looks so weird so we're gonna go ahead and just dive into the one accessory he does have and that is his lightsaber and this lightsaber is beautiful like I I know it's just an Obi-Wan lightsaber but this thing <clears throat> it's really nicely painted it has a nice silver nice black paint it's very nicely done unlike Anakin's and it has even like the bronze stuff the bronze here wow that looks really freaking good you guys um, and also to point out this has a thicker peg let's actually grab his lightsaber to show you how bad this thing is now I actually don't have any other Obi-Wan's or Anakin's like I said in the Anakin video it's mostly because none of them really look too good and the ones I did want to buy I kind of skipped out on but yeah so they are the same mold essentially um, but you'll notice I mean straight away that the clone commander Obi-Wan's um, not only is the lightsaber blade thinner which I hate that because it's yeah it just I mean it's not horrible but it just doesn't I don't know I like the thicker blades I, I don't know because part of me likes the thinner blades because they look you know more accurate on the shelf but the thicker blades like look better and they're thinner or and they are more stable kind of so yeah so you have the this kind of like really bad gray all throughout the clone commander obi ones basically has the paint, same paint apps except for this little square piece so that's I want to say that the gold and the square piece are the only things that this has over the other one but so yeah I just don't like this gray it's not good 
by pop this blade off. That's the Clone Commander Obi Wan's, and this is the Clone Wars Obi Wan. Bam! You can see just uh, actually looks actually looks like they're the same blade length. Nope. Wait, so this is thinner? What the hell? Yeah, so this is somehow a thicker blade. That's interesting. Very so yeah, I don't That that's actually really weird. I wonder if they're just doing that now to keep consistency so that all the lightsabers aren't thin as hell. Super weird. They must have just done that for freaking the show style or something. But yeah. Anyways, um let's go ahead and just show this off. Let's put this this can go onto his belt. Bam. I think oh this one actually goes onto his belt properly. Wow. Good job, Hasbro. I don't have to fight it or anything. Now compare that to let's go ahead and put we're gonna go ahead and put the lightsaber on clone commander's belt and um it's not horrible but it really just doesn't stay in you have to yeah it's definitely this mold was like i feel like they kind of just cobbled together this mold it's a really freaking cool mold i really like it but it just like does not work with what they intended to and some of the problems from this mold actually do carry over to the other obi-wan so like the hands being too big because they're clone hands and then we'll get into whatever else is a problem later but yeah as you can see this just does not go on there at all so that sucks but actually wow I actually like this look with the lightsaber on his belt that's actually it's actually a first I usually don't I mean I think it's cool but it actually looks really freaking good on his belt all right, let's go ahead and jump straight into this comparison. All right, and just starting with the head mold alone, you can see that they this head mold is superior by far. This head mold is not bad at all. I actually really do like how this head mold tur turned out, but you can tell that they went for that animation kind of look with them. Um, it almost makes me wonder if they're gonna re if they re-release some, if they're gonna keep the animation type of look or if they're gonna keep like if they're gonna give them like realistic hair which that's very interesting to me it does not look bad at all but you could definitely tell that it is more of a plasticky kind of animated look same thing goes with Anakin here so it almost makes me wonder if that was intentional unintentional or if they literally just did that to try to get it as close to the animated look but actually that looks really freaking cool and unique so I'm glad they didn't just throw the other head mold on here but some people might be mad about that, but yeah, that's very interesting to see. Then you'll notice that going into the clone, so yeah, this is basically an updated version with the new clone mold of this figure. You have the bad arms on this figure compared to the good arms with your single jointed elbows, so you lose articulation, but you get technically better articulation. Um, this actually bends, so you can, and it has the butterfly joints so of course it's going to be a lot better um you're you know there's not really cloth goods getting in the way i do like the cloth goods i think that cl without the cloth goods this would just be like a normal clone figure with obi-wan's face slapped on it again i do wish this thing came with the helmet they should have given one of these guys a helmet is what i'm saying they should have given them a phase one helmet and called it a day because yeah, he use he uses a helmet. He he um, he doesn't use a helmet in the Clone Wars, but he does. But he came with the freaking helmet on his original figure, so that would have been kind of nice. Yeah, but getting down is just you know normal Obi Wan get up, which actually this makes this figure probably the coolest Obi Wan. Yeah, these two are the definitely the coolest Obi Wan figures or prequel Obi Wan figures, I should say. And then getting down to the legs, you just have the updated leg or the updated feet mold. So, yeah, it's definitely an improvement all around. You'll notice right away though, this isn't like a different type of plastic. I don't know if I know. I know it's like off color on the camera, but it is two different types of plastic. I'm actually wondering. Yeah, so I'm actually wondering what's 
yet. It's like a different color plastic than even the clones. Have we done any kind of clone in this color? Because this definitely matches the original figure from what I remember. It's like closer, it's like exactly this off-white color. So they did really good with that. But do we have a figure with this like off-white? It's not like, it's a very interesting white. Hold on, I mean this is a bit closer, but it's still not, still not there. Yeah, if I sit here and sort through my clones all day, I'm sure I could find it, but I cannot immediately figure this one out. It's just a interesting color. So, it's almost like a pearless, like the pearly kind of color without like what makes pearl pearl. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like that kind of white. It's very interesting. I know you guys don't that probably made no sense to you guys but yeah yeah anyways um, besides that there's really not much here you're just missing the cloth goods so besides that so that's the only difference and then basically um, Anakin and him really only share the freaking chest plate and this yeah not even the mid torso piece they only share the chest plate so besides the chest plate which they're, they're both completely unique molds, so yeah. And hell, he's even freaking taller. He has a longer midsection, so wow. So it's not they didn't even reuse parts. They just completely went out. So they they remolded this part. Probably reused the episode three Ob one, which leads me to believe that they're gonna remake that sometime soon and then threw the clone legs on it and even gave like new clone legs yeah but that was just something interesting I just thought I'd point out but I do want to say that my biggest problem with OB1 with both of these OB1s has always been that he's using the clone hand clone hand is meant for blasters see the trigger finger there not a problem the problem lies is when you put his very thin lightsaber into his hands which when you get to the middle of the lightsaber he just cannot hold it properly so you have to have him hold it like here or like towards the bottom of the lightsaber so it's not the biggest problem in the world but it's just it's just a little annoying but it does look great in his hands like that silver is super nice they've been doing besides Anakin they've been doing a really good job with everything that's not a uh, Anakin's lightsaber or Luke lightsaber so you guys have been doing really good Hasbro keep up the good work because that's keep up the good work with the lightsabers at least because that's been good I don't know if it's worth paying the extra five to ten dollars for all this crap though or another quick look at the figure because we kind of already went over it yeah so you got your of course animated style kind of hair which it's just the old that old better face mold which I don't it actually might work well on an episode 3 Kenobi. I know that I they're going to have to really re-release it at some point. Why would you remold this piece and all this stuff? They're going to re-release an episode 3 Kenobi, so I'd wait. The arms, of course, besides this uh, Jedi logo, it's just the clone arms. I actually really like that Jedi logo, though. It's just the clone arms and that off-white. Here's the back of him. I really like that mold. Here's the underskirt underskirt so make these look like a completely new mold because yeah I'm not sure but yeah and then you got of course your freaking knees yeah so this is pretty typical clone stuff besides the midsection so yeah, it's very. It's another one of those interesting mix between Obi Wan and clone, and he just works that way for some reason, and he always gonna work that way for some reason. Further adding to the Obi Wan as a clone theory. Just kidding. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into his articulation. So his neck is on a ball joint, goes up into another ball joint, so he goes that far down, that far up. Head tilt. Head tilt. <laughs> there you go moves around pretty decently then you got butterfly joints in there um, go 
The thing with the butterfly joints is I feel like they're a lot more hidden on these figures, so they're also a lot harder to use. Yeah, and then the armor piece folds up, of course, so you can kind of get him into... Actually, it tucks into the... It's going to tuck into the butterfly joint, so it actually shouldn't be that bad, but... That's actually not bad at all. Then you got your single jointed elbow. You got your hinge swivel at the wrist, and this one's going to go up and down for aiming purposes, which he does not need. This one's going to go left and right. Again, this is the clone hands, so don't be surprised there. Then you got a ball joint at the torso. This one is not great, per se. Then you got your legs for go forward this far. Actually, shouldn't really be too hindered by this back. Not really. Actually, that one going back is really good. This one going back, actually, that's pretty decent, honestly. Then you go out pretty much as far as you can get them, so that's pretty good compared to most figures. Then you got your BAM thigh swivels, which taking a better look there, I really like that kind of under armor, it's kind of cool. Then you got your hand to swivel at the knee, single jointed knee, so that kind of sucks. BAM BAM. Then you got your hinge swivel at the ankle, or you got your hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rockers. And yeah, that kind of does carry the same problem as the old Colon Commander Obi-Wan, but you know what? I think it's slightly better articulation at the feet. So we're going to pose this guy and see if I can actually enjoy posing him, because unlike that one, this one should actually be a lot easier to pose. So let's get Obi-Wan onto the battlefield. <laughs> Now it's time to show him off next to some other figures, so here he is next to Anakin, Clone Commander Obi-Wan, and Echo. And here he is next to Asajj and Dooku. And here he is next to General Grievous and a Clinker. And I want to say I'm so proud of Grievous. This is the first time I've ever gotten him to just stand without any effort. He just stood on his own. Wow. <laughs> And as always, here he's next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. Anyways guys, this guy is absolutely awesome, but I almost forgot to give a shout out to Nurk IRL once again. Um, he actually did not help me pick up this figure. We cannot find Obi-Wan worth a damn, but I'm still going to give him a shout out because this is the Clone Wars set, so wouldn't have the rest of the set without him. So just a you know, little mini shout out right here. But now is the perfect time to go check him out. It's the end of the video. But yeah, what do I think of this guy? He's pretty freaking awesome. So for those of you guys that missed the Clone Commander Obi Wan, um, you can at least get a Clone Wars Obi Wan, very similar. But I honestly, it, aesthetic wise, he looks better. But figure wise, altogether, this is the better figure. So yeah hopefully you guys can find this Clone Wars Obi-Wan I'm sure they re will re-release these guys in the normal box at some point don't know about Clone Commander Obi-Wan I don't think they're ever going to re-release this maybe in the archive a few years down the line but he just came out you know end of 2019 so anyways Clone Wars Obi-Wan is definitely worth the pick up especially if you don't have him but as always you can bring him in warm or can bring him in cold Thanks for watching and good hunting.